So in the Black Ops 4 zombie map, Classified, you can find a secret wonder weapon. It is the Winter's Howl, which unsurprisingly is the exact same wonder weapon from the original version of this map, 5, from Call of Duty Black Ops. Now actually getting a hold of this weapon is just a little bit more complicated than it was in the original map. The objective to getting this wonder weapon is that you need to find four codes hidden around the map and then input them on the big screen in the war room. When you do that, that unlocks the way to the special weapon. Now, there's still a few more steps you have to do to be able to actually unlock the weapon, but that's the main gist of what we're going to be doing. So, before I get started, please consider liking and subscribing if you find this video helpful at all. Otherwise, let's just get right into it. So, before you do anything in this map, be sure to have the Pack-A-Punch unlocked. Now, if you don't know how to do that, basically it involves turning the power on and then hitting the DEFCON buttons. You have to build something. I get into it in a separate video, but just keep that in mind. We're going to need explosive weapons to be able to find this first code. So let's go up and get it. Here, I'm back in the war room, but I'm going to go up to the deserted hallway. Now, I'm going to do these in the order that they appear, as in the order we have to input the codes. Because you can do these in any order, you can find the codes, but you actually have to input the codes in this order that I'm going to be finding them. And also the codes are random. See where I'm looking right here? This is the spot where the secret code is. Now what we need to do is, shoot, Benjamin Franklin, Alexander Hamilton, and then Abraham Lincoln with the explosive gun. You have to do it fast. Didn't seem like it worked. It didn't really look like it did anything, but let's try it again. See if it works this time. So I think I need to shoot a little faster. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> this, all these are pretty buggy. There's my code. That's, so that's the first one I need to input. Now, here's an important thing to remember. These codes are random, so you're gonna have to write them down. And I suggest doing this in the order that I'm doing it, so you don't get mixed up. Now, the next one is in the main offices. This is where the next code is. But first, we need to go back down to the war room. So we need to collect an item. Over by the uh, panic room, these are the panic room doors. A set of keys, look at this, there's a big key right there. Grab that. And then go back up to the offices. This will let us unlock a cabinet in a desk. And doing that will reveal the next password. This is probably the easiest one. So which desk is it? It's this one. It's kind of this cleared off one that's in the center. There. So 1820. That's my next code. Next we want to get is in the Southern Labs. I'll show you where that is. It's kind of an odd location. And this next one is awkward and tricky. This one requires grenades. But I've got the shotgun, which is also a grenade launcher, which also works really well for it. So we need to go where the weapons testing lab is. And then we need to look for a zombie window, like a place where the zombies spawn out of. And find something there. Basically, we need to shoot grenades at it. Okay, here we are. Here's the weapon testing. This is the southern laboratories. We're out on the outside of the, southern, of the uh, weapon testing. This is the zombie window we need to use. Alright, see that metal object there? It's a box of some kind. You need to sh throw or shoot grenades behind it. If you hit the right thing, if you hit the right trigger behind this thing, then it will work. And it will reveal the next password. As with a lot of these, it's fairly awkward and finicky. So just keep at it. People have said that just like throwing explosives at the base of it works. Or throwing explosives behind it works. This is why I have this explosive shotgun. I can just go nuts. I'll figure it out. Oh, here we go. Okay, that revealed it. There's the code. So it's 7979. It's my next code. And remember, these have to be put in a specific order, and this is the order that I'm doing them in. All right, this last one is in the panic room. But we can only get into the panic room. It'll only reveal itself 
if we hit these DEFCON switches in a certain order. So we need to start with this one, the one up here. This is the far right one from the staircase up in the upper level. Then we need to go down to the lower level. Go into the server room. Just a quick reminder. For this one, you have to put in these DEF CON switches. You have to hit them in a certain order and then go into the panic room. If you don't do it this way, then nothing will happen and you won't be able to get the code. So the next one is the server room. Third one, go back up and hit the closer one. Last one is down the bottom floor, what's left. Now don't go into the Pack-a-Punch. Don't go to Groom Lake. We need to go to the Panic Room. So don't go in this one in the center. Find a different one. So I'm going to go to the one in the server room. There we go. Yeah, see? George Washington head, that's the right one. Okay, we're here. There's one thing that's a little different, though. See that TV? Maybe interact with it. And that reveals the last code. 2314. Okay, so we have all four codes that we need. Now we need to input them, but where do you input these codes? I will show you, real quick. Let's go back to the war room. Okay, now for this, you need a standard weapon, so these explosive weapons won't do. Just go and grab a wall by, get just a regular machine gun or pistol or whatever. Here, this screen, see those numbers? There's a button beside it, so we need to shoot the numbers to match the codes. Now, remember, here's the order that the codes need to be inputted. I'll tell you it again. It is the deserted hallway, then the one in the main offices. Then the one in the South Labs. And the last one is in the Panic Room. So the first code that we got is 7433. So that's what I'm putting in. You need to hit the button. If the picture switches and it lights up, then you did it right. Alright, I'm going to speed it up these last ones. But I want to show it to you, just so you make it nice and perfectly clear what exactly we're doing. The second code I got, if you remember right, is 1820. So I just put that one in. And the next one was 7979. You have to put them in in this order. You can find them in any order. But I suggest just finding them in the order that they need to be inputted, so you don't get confused. Last one is 2314. Okay, we did it. That's all four. Now we need to hit the DEF CON switches again because we need to go to Groom Lake. This is where the Wonder Weapon spawns. There it is, pack a punch. So we're almost done. Okay, now that we're here, there's one thing left to do. I'll show you where the weapon actually appears. That's where it is. See that kind of like uh, icy suitcase over there? That's the wonder weapon. Now to be able to get it, we need to survive three rounds, three full rounds here in Groom Lake. So I'm just going to skip ahead because I mean, it's just me standing around fighting zombies. All right, but there we go. And you see? The way it revealed itself. And you get a pack-a-punch bonus thing. I think it's a fire sale, whatever you want to call it. So there we go. Here's the weapon. Let's get it. This is the winner's howl. Freezes enemies. That's what it does. Boom. Freezes them. It's basically like the ray gun. A little more effective though. Alright. They're dead. And of course we're right here by the pack-a-punch. So we can upgrade it to the winner's howl. That's where it really comes into its own, or it really kind of starts showing itself off a little bit. <laughs> this game's not glitchy. Who said this game was glitchy? 
I didn't see anything. Nothing wrong with this. It's perfect in every way. Okay. Let's have a few more zombies with it just to show it off. But there it is. That's the winner's howl in Classified. Thanks for watching, guys. And take it easy.